Hey guys, I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas, hope it was restful, hope you got to see your family, and uh, had a nice time. I'm finally getting to a video for you guys here, um, pushing it to the last moment. It's still New Year's Eve day, technically, so, you know, one more to round off the year, and I figured I would do the... The annual, you know, my favorite five folding knives in my collection. Uh, once again, this is just, I kind of dropped my Pelican case here. I'm just going to go through it. No rhyme or reason to it. Just some of my, you know, my top five standout favorites. So, I don't know where to start. This is a pretty obvious choice. This is a uh, VC Edge interface. Number 32, one of the older ones in S35VN, carbon fiber, carbon fiber blade with the steel insert in it. Just really, really unique. This thing weighs, I believe, 1.7 ounces total, um, and it's like a over three and a half inch blade, I think, full size frame lock. Actually, I mean... I don't know if you can call that a full, true flame, frame lock, maybe like a sub frame lock, but uh, yeah, true tactical folder for super, super lightweight, and uh, I really like that one. They're hard to come by now, so that one I'm going to put in the running. Um, I'm not sure how I want to do this. I don't, maybe I'll do like a, a higher end pick. Um, I mean... I could just choose my top five most expensive knives, but I'm not going to do that. So what would be the fun in that? So here is a Sharp by Design Arch Nemesis. One of the kind of plainer models that he's made. Um, just generic G10, but with that milling, it looks super nifty. Nitro V blade. And really, this is about celebrating the quality and precision that uh, Mr. Brian Nadeau is able to achieve. So that is just an absolutely gorgeous one. Definitely in the running for my kind of... I'm going to call this my, my showstopper. Just totally wicked, uh, over-the-top, overblown, expensive. I think last year I wound up choosing... Where's this guy? Damage steel, carbon fiber, so a little bit... A little bit kind of different uh, feel for this guy. But I think it, it earns the position nicely. So we'll do that guy. I don't know here. You know what? Let's do my favorite user. Let's pick a good user knife out of here. I have many, many users. The vast majority of these I will use pretty much for whatever. But there are some that I'll kind of prioritize for more heavy-duty tasks. Uh, this is one of my users. XM18, 3.5 inch here. Black wash finish. Blue black G10. This one I wind up carrying a lot and honestly don't use a ton. I mean, you can see the finish is pristine. But this one I consider one of my users. I will use this for absolutely anything. So that one, but for that reason, since I haven't had it super long and haven't used it a lot, I'm uh, not going to pick that one. I have phosphor bronze washers on that one, just for the heck of it. Another good user, this guy. You know, I'll do two of them at once. Benchmade, both Benchmades. This one's the Benchmade Striker 2. This one's the Benchmade Triage. You can see they're very similar handle construction there. But out of the two of these, both of them get used a lot. This one's sentimental. Picked this up on a family road trip a long time ago. This is one of my oldest knives I have, actually. Um, still love to use it. But if I'm being completely honest, I carry this Benchmade Triage a little bit more. I don't know, maybe it's subconsciously, you know, it's got this seatbelt cutter, 
glass breaker, you know, kind of gimmicky, but it's marketed as kind of a rescue tool and, you know, N680 steel supposed to be very corrosion resistant. I don't know. Subconsciously, I just tend to be putting this in my pocket a lot when I'm, you know, getting paged out and whatnot. So that one's a great one. Also, you know, this scar right here on my thumb, that's from this puppy. So it's officially my blade, you know, once they bite you, it's yours. So I want to say that one's going to be in the running as my user. And <laughs> see, here's the problem when you have so many awesome knives, it's difficult to, I mean, yes, these are not the five unchangeable options, but it doesn't make it any easier. Tell you what, one of these guys is going to have to be in this list. Uh... So this is a Richard Rogers v4 um, this is an xhp blade g10 inlay there which is super cool and this is an edgar cole chimera with a zerkutai backspacer and pivot collar super gorgeous abl for the blade both of these are kind of in a similar vein this one i got super lucky and won the lottery at Blade Show this year. So, super stoked about that one. This one I had on order, custom ordered it. Took me about two years from the initial I'd like to purchase one to getting it. So there's some serious time invested and, you know, impatience and whatnot. <laughs> but this one I've also been chasing. I've been... I've been to Blade, uh, I think, three times now. And every single time, all three days or whatever, I've entered for the Richard Rogers lottery. So this one's another one that I've been chasing for years, both of which I managed to, to get this year. So I don't know. It's, a, it's an impossible decision. Uh, you know, for this time... I'm going to say maybe in a future top five, that one will be there. But for this year, I'm going to pick the Richard Rogers V4 just because how lucky I feel to have gotten this very sweet blade. Um, haven't used or carried it much just because of how, you know, treasured it is to me, at least at the moment. I may turn it into a user eventually, but we'll see. So that one I'm going to put in the, in the bracket. And mm, what else? I got one more spot and I could do trade outs. The these are always awesome. Holt Spectre. Very sweet blade. Just sleek. Great action. Good carry profile and just beautiful precision in the milling and everything, action, top quality, uh, cutlery right there. I have two of them. This is a one in carbon fiber. The Prestige model here. This one I'm not going to open because it has a mirror polished blade. And I don't feel like doing a face reveal today, but um, that one is absolutely gorgeous and totally wicked. <laughs> you know, I could do a my favorite handmade knife. I have three, four, you know, handmade customs, meaning they're made on like a, a hand mill. Um, I have lots of CNC kind of customs because that's what I tend to gravitate towards. You know, we're gonna we're gonna go with this guy. This is the uh, Tough Knives Prospect. This is one I custom ordered. 
totally wicked. Nitro V blade there. Two tone. I don't know if you can see how there's kind of satin texture on the flats. Acid stone wash on the bevels. Really cool milling in there. Blue accents throughout because that's what I tend to like. And once again, you know, really sleek. Great uh, and saber grip. A little bit, you know, kind of thick behind the edge, but as far as his knives go, this one's nice and slicey. So, I really like that one. Um, Tough Knives Prospect. That one's, this one I've uh, had in and out a bunch. Honestly, I, I have not had possession of this more time than I've owned it, I think since I bought it, um, had it out on a super secret project, which you guys may see eventually, and also a, like a detent warranty repair and whatnot, just had him lighten up the detent just a tad, which was super awesome of him to oblige and whatnot, so, but I'm just excited, excited to actually have this in my case again, so, all right, are those the ones I want to do? You know what, for, for now, we're going to call that good. I could change around infinitely, but I think all these were picked for a pretty good reason. So, Richard Rogers, V4 Custom, CNC Custom Knife. Benchmade Production Triage. Let's do VC Edge Interface. Tough Knives custom handmade prospect and sharp by design custom cnc knife that's the arch nemesis yep freaking all absolutely sick blades and um absolutely thrilled to be able to own and use each and every one of these so i'd also love to hear um from you guys what are your favorite five knives or ten knives or whatever? If you can't keep it to five, that's that's all good. I feel you. Uh, but give me your top top knives down in the comments. I'd really love to hear what you guys choose. Uh, that's always interesting to me. So hopefully the coming year is as awesome as uh, 2022 was for you guys. Uh, you can laugh. That was a joke. 2022 was not that great. Did score some awesome cutlery, though, so I am very happy. Overall, you know, you know what I mean. All right, hopefully you guys have a great day and a great next year, and I'll see you in videos in the coming year. See ya.